boy. All right, let's start off with Joe. What are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? Um, actually, I just got it. Wait for it. Oh, I got the tall can of Kilt Lifter, so. Mm. I'm going to get fucked up. Um, as far as what I've been playing, I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 5 online, mostly. Um, played Fallout, been playing Fallout 76, and Madden 20. That's it. Sweet. We'll move on over to Miguel. Miguel, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week? Monster! Monster. Um, playing Madden. Stupid fucking Madden. Playing GTA 5. Fucking expensive game. And, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Still great. Sweet. All right, we'll move on over to John. John, what are you drinking? What have you been playing this week, buddy? This week, I am drinking what is remaining of my Glen Levitt 12-year scotch. Yum, yum, yum. And the only thing that I've played this week is Insurgency Sandstorm. I did play softball, but that's not a game. That doesn't count. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah. What about you, Chris? What are you drinking? What have you been playing? All right, I'm drinking the usual, the Goose Island IPA this week. And also, and I've been drinking that all week. <laughs> and uh, let's see, I've been playing Fallout 76 on my Xbox, Grand Theft Auto 5 online. I have been playing uh, Ultimate Alliance 3 on my Switch. And what else did I play? I think that's it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for the listeners joe gave some hand gestures have to watch the video for it all right so uh that's pretty much me this week so we're gonna move on over to the news joe are you ready buddy mm-hmm. the news this week has been or it's brought to you by vg247 let's get into it the new nintendo switch with improved battery life is now available to buy if you care so uh the old battery was 2.5 to 6.5 the new battery is uh going from four and a half to nine hours of playtime. it's still three hundred dollars oh it's a hundred dollars cheaper isn't it than a regular switch switch is 400 no it isn't is it 299 for a regular switch a regular switch is 200 is 299 if you paid 400 for yours ha! i paid 299 for mine <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just saying I thought it was $3.99. New. New. Uh, expect Gears 5 Horde mode and Ghost Recon Breakpoint multiplayer at Gamescom if you can afford to go. Um Yeah. But there there is gonna be a show. It's uh Monday the nineteenth at eight AM Pacific, eleven AM Eastern. Um you can watch it on Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, Facebook. It's uh, it's going to be in Cologne, Germany. So from the 20th to the 24th of August. Cologne. Cologne. <clears throat> um, THQ Nordic snaps up Darksiders developer Gunfire Games. I thought they already had them. Nope, this said uh, Darksiders developer Gunfire Games has been acquired by THQ Nordic for an undisclosed sum. Gunfire notably contains much of the core team from Vigil Games, which kicked off the franchise with the old THQ back in 2010. So, I miss the old THQ. They've been buddies for a while, and now that they've teamed up, so now they're, you know, they're solid. Um... Yeah. Next. Trumpe, his proposed game console tariff has been delayed. So, the trade hmm. war with China conveniently won't affect holiday shoppers. Uh, the president's proposed 25% trade tariff against video game and tabletop industries. God, even tabletop industries? Damn. Will be implemented a little later than planned. If you were worried about shelling out extra for a switch uh, this winter, you can relax. It's it's not going to happen. So, 
Uh, Trump's administration has delayed planned tariffs on phones, laptops, game consoles, and select clothing until December 15th. So get all those counterfeit NFL jerseys while you can. Um, three months so something later... cheaper with a tariff. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, three months later than the proposed September 1st deadline. So next, Yubi, Yubi, Yubi wants to come back big with like like this big with uh huge, huge with huge. splinter cell and with new types of experiences so that's all that's all they're saying that's that's all they're saying it's just oh, that's yeah they wow. i know we said in uh, other podcasts about vr assassin's creed and, and splinter cell but they want to come back huge with other stuff um this is kind of big xbox may allow its new game studios to create multi-platform games Ooh, yeah so not only that but they but phil spencer went on to say that that xbox microsoft is going to focus on a lot more single player titles um this coming quarter not quarter but this coming this next year yes miguel i also saw something about quantic dream i think it is the guys who made a uh, heavy rain beyond two souls mm-hmm. uh become human detroit become human yes their games are also going to become pl- cross-platform their future projects yes so i was slightly confused on that too because i thought they were owned by sony yes you are correct <laughs> we're playing together well Woo! We're able to play the same games. Woo! We're not playing together, but... <laughs> That's better than playing together, in my opinion. I'd rather do that than play together. Yeah, so we're playing the same games. They're so, playing together! They're, 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 their thumbsticks are down here, and ours are like this. So Huge! Yeah. That is pretty huge. But yeah, Microsoft will allow, um, in the future, they got Double Fine, Obsidian, Ninja Theory. Um, they are going to... Um, start creating multi-platform games. So in the near future, everybody wins. Pretty much. That's cool. That's cool. Um, and they also said that uh, Obsidian's Outer Worlds is looking to be one of the franchises that they want to um, have a staple for Microsoft. And going into that, go ahead, Miguel. You know why they're doing this, right? <clears throat> because with cloud gaming everyone's going to be selling their own subscription. So everyone's going to be wanting to sell their subscription. So that's why they're probably doing this. It's like, oh, you have a PC? Well, subscribe to Xbox games and we'll still get your money. <laughs> well, UB was doing it. EA's doing it. Um, so instead of they're taking it from the developer, instead of having the developer publish or have the subscription plan, it's like, well, Microsoft can do it, but Microsoft won't be confined to that one publisher developer. You'll have everything that you can play on this system. So they're they're kind of taking the business model from the the Stadia, I guess. Well, but but they're doing they can do their Xbox games for PC like we yeah. have with Game Pass currently. Yeah. But Ubisoft's going to move into Xbox and they're going to have their Pass system. So everyone's going to have their own subscription service. It's going to be you're going to have a Netflix, you're going to have a Hulu, you're going to have HBO, except it's video games. It's Sony, Microsoft, um, Google. EA, fuck Google, <laughs> yeah, Google, Ubisoft. Well, that's so you're just gonna be paying well, monthly payments yeah. for all of them. And Chris makes a good point. So the only reason I see that Microsoft is doing this is because Microsoft, well, is because of Google. They want to mm-hmm. they want to be direct competition with Google, and they want to say, "Oh, you want to come play with us? Guess what? We're going to steal your model and uh, go fuck yourself." So yeah, fuck you, Google. Um, even though I'm using a Google phone, but anyway. But you have the Xbox hat, so that that's from Saul. It doesn't light up though. Yeah, it I wish I did. No, it's all. <laughs> so, shut off, so shut off. Shut off, gamer. Pretty mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um. <laughs> Microsoft sees exclusive franchise potential in the Outer Worlds, like I had just said. Um, so this is from Obsidian Games, and it's basically, Miguel will just say it's Fallout in Space. Which I'm excited for because Fallout's great, but Fallout in Space would be even greater. More great. Greaterist. 
goodies. Anyway. Bestest. Bestest. The more goodest. Um, <laughs> longtime <laughs> WWE developer Yuke parts ways with 2K. <gasps> Can we see a possible movement to uh, THQ? Let's hope that Yuke can go back to THQ and create the greatest wrestling games ever, like they Mercy did in the, like they uh, did in on Nintendo sixty four. It'll so, never be great again unless they just use old old superstars. Nobody gives a shit about these new guys. Yeah, but they can do it like Madden, where they have legends and bring in like The Rock and Stone Cold and mm-hmm. have all those. You know, but, but the greatest thing about those old games was the creative character. So. Absolutely. Plus, plus the control system was the greatest of all of the wrestling games, hands down, in my opinion, uh, better than SmackDown series. So, I really enjoyed it, and I hope that they uh, team up with THQ. But uh, yeah, they're no longer with T- 2K, so no more funky ass 2K covers. Um, fuck you, 2K. I'm hoping they're making a new <laughs> THQ No Mercy. That'd be sick. Like a new No Mercy. Yep. Wrestling game. Badass. Last W versus NWO was the best. No mercy. Yep. Or uh, yeah. What was it? Uh, World Tour. Can they wasn't just it? remake that? World yeah. Tour. That'd be awesome. Can they just remake that. I'd, I'd love to see WCW versus NWO because it would have all the awesome people from that era. Sting. Get back the N64 controller though. Yeah. Well, they they probably will for the Switch. Yeah, they'll make a retro one for it to <laughs> wireless connect to your Switch. <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, last but not least, this fucking game, No Man's Sky, just came no. out. Let it die, let it die. They're not, they're not let letting it, it die. die. Um, it's a free update, and it's truly free, and it released already, and it's VR support, and it supports up to thirty-two players multiplayer, and yeah, and there's so much, to- there's so much more shit. So the VR support supports PSVR, Oculus Touch, Valve Index Knuckles, which means players on all platforms can try out the new mode. Um, I'm not playing it. What? Bye, Chris. Bye, uh, Chris. Well, he doesn't have No Man's Sky on VR. But he has VR, and he'll buy No Man's Sky for it. Jesus. Hey, Bye. Bye. I might. I don't know. Horn. Who's, who's no. Chris? Who's Chris? Yeah. Who's John? Who's John? Mr. Insurgency, I don't want to play with you guys, Sandstorm. Well, you guys are only playing uh, Grand Theft Auto, and I don't want to. Madden. Oh, I don't have Madden. Just no. Fly. Madden. I know. Behind the mic. Shoot, by the camera. Shoot flies. Don't bother me. It's by the camera. Let's play Overwatch, John. <laughs> Let's play Call of Duty, John. Let's play something. Okay. Let's play the Let's Division. Play Let's go back into the Division. No. Play Overwatch on our computer, Miguel. Okay. Jesus. Anyway, uh, No Man's Sky Beyond, they have Nexus Hub and multiplayer missions. So there's a new social hub, and um, you can interact with NPCs, shop for new gear, and show off your creations um, between 16 and 32 players. So there will also be featured bases, similar to the way the block forts were in Fortnite. Um, There's new multiplayer missions, ranging from photography to archaeological digging. Sorry. Um. Yeah. So, No Man's Sky. It's like <clears throat> clear. <clears throat> uh, we got we got a heartbeat again. And it flat lights. Beep. Clear. <gasps> oh, they're back. Oh. Oh. Whew. No. Yeah, they're trying to do. They're <laughs> they're trying to do it like uh like a GTA Online. Uh, where it was kind of dead yeah. for a while, and they're like, guess what? Casino. <gasps> Can they can they change it to Die Man Sky? Die it, ha- Man. it has risen. Anyway, yeah, and on I the seventh Man year, Sky. you know, in it, I it will admit, nothing. No Man's Sky was great, but it was just missing that multiplayer aspect. Um, they did overhaul the base building, and they had now have farming uh, capabilities, uh, industrial buildings, and stuff like that. So, have fun, space nerds. To Hi, infinity Chris. and your mom. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's all I got for the news. All right. Well, it's time for our dates. Miguel, are you ready, buddy? Yeah, they all suck. Oh fuck! It's not Gears of War time yet, so they all suck. Ugh. All right. A14, Basara Collection on Xbox. 
Edna and Harvey, Harvey's new eyes on Switch, Xbox, and PlayStation. Gravity Duck on the Xbox. (laughs) Bell Seal, Arbiter's Mark on Switch. Slay the Spire on Xbox. On the 15th, again, the Sara Collection, this time on Switch. The Vanishing of Ethan Carter on Switch. Beholder 2, Switch. Uh... It'll do Nintendo Switch, Tactics 5, Obsidian Brigade, Xbox, Cryo Gear, Switch, Rogue Singularity on Switch, 816, Gravity Duck on Switch, uh, Grandia HD Collection, Switch, Artana and the Twin Masks, Xbox, Escape from the Universe on Switch, The Forbidden Arts on Xbox, 817, A Node on Switch, 818, Far Lone Sales on Switch. Rad PlayStation Xbox Switch. FIA European Truck Racing Championship <gasps> on Switch and PlayStation and Xbox. And Remnant from the Ashes on Xbox and PlayStation. And you guys are done listening to all the bullshit I have to say. <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, wait. What? What? I'm, I'm going to have nightmares. I'm going to have nightmares of Miguel, of Miguel saying, for the Switch. <laughs> for the gravity switch duck. on the switch yeah, for the duck. switch on the on switch the i want to know what this gravity duck thing is though hmm. i don't know you have to know. check it out. i might have to look it up we should learn about it on the more you know with the joker drone oh yeah hmm. Hmm. what do you know you know what that game that it'll do i wonder if people will buy that game and be like yeah it'll do <laughs> Like they're broken, mm-hmm. they're broken. They're like, eh, it'll do. Oh, God. and it's spelled D E W. So, it'll oh, do. it's a Mountain Dew thing. Yeah, it's a Mountain Dew thing. Uh, that's weird. Interesting. It'll do. Huh. Well, that'll do, pig. That'll do. Pike. All right. That's everything coming out this week, guys. No, you don't care. I don't care. It's just the thing that I do. It's the thing you do, man. It'll do. <laughs> it, it'll do. <laughs> All right. So. John, are you ready? Yes. Okay. <laughs> this I was totally waiting for my intro music. Like, uh-huh. wait a minute, we're live. Not gonna happen. We're not live yet. Yes, Miguel. I'm slightly paranoid about my drink and something going into it because of your monitor, because of oh, your screen. Yeah. Oh uh, my gosh, flies. I'll, I'll bring that up in my what the fuck. <laughs> Damn kids. I can get uh, paranoid so- like it. So this week on The More You Know, um, I just did a quick search and came up with Steam. I was curious what the most played games are right now. And these are results from Steam. Grand Theft Auto 5. Number 10 is Rocket League with 43,912 players. Woo! Ark Survival Evolved, 57,000. Warframe, 65,000. <laughs> Team Fortress 2, 56,000. Wait, hold on. Peak. Oh, that's peak. Sorry. Current players is 48,000. Yeah, my numbers are off. People are Sorry. Still Rocket League that? was 33,000 current players. Ark Survival is 38,000. Warframe is 40,000. Team Fortress 2 is 47. Rust is 48. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege is 59,000 with a peak of 100,000 wow. today. Grand Theft Auto 5. Current players at 65,000, peak of 138,000. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. What's current, that? that game, I forgot that game existed. Yeah. Current is 155,000 with a peak today of 720,000. Holy fuck. Yeah. Uh, Counter Strike Global Offense. Damn. Current is 260,000 players with a peak of 577,000. And number one is Dota 2 with current players at 290,000 and peak at 758,000 players today yes miguel you're missing a game it's not on the list modern warfare Fortnite, 2 you're missing, you're missing Fortnite. it's not on the list for sure because yeah, it's not on steam 
All right. But I'm pretty I, sure I, it's this up there. This is a Steam list. Okay. Steam. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to pop a random question for you guys. Um, no. The answer is no. I will not marry you. 42. <laughs> yes, I would love a beer with my free ticket to the football game. Thank you. My I'm question out of is um, either what is your favorite game or series of all time? Or what do you what game have you put the most time into? Wow, that's easy for me. That's that's Halo for me. I played the all from one all the way up to five. The only time only game that I didn't put that much time into it was five, but I played everything Halo until then so and i've owned all the metal cases and the collector editions and all that shit i have a collector's edition xbox so halo is a uh, halo is that one so fuck you joe for uh listeners not watching the video joe made some gestures again watch the look like he had a golf ball <laughs> poking out his cheek ping pong no oh, ping pong uh, so that is your favorite game series as well as the one you've spent the most time on? Yes, correct. Okay. Miguel, Joe. Do I only have to pick? Can I, I can only pick one? Yeah, there yeah. can only be one. One. There, there can only be one. Be one. Who knows? There Who can knows? only be one. God of War? Okay. I don't buy consoles just for a single game unless it's God of War. Um, Gears. Gears I, I, I already have. I already intend on buying an Xbox. So you could have just said G O W, and it could have been either yeah, Gears or God. Oh, okay. so. <laughs> so, yeah, he bought a PlayStation Four specifically for God of War. Spoiler mm. alert! Guess what I ordered today? His Gears, Gears Xbox. Of War, <laughs> Xbox. <laughs> uh, awesome. Yeah. So are they still gonna fix your old one? Fix. So you're gonna have two. Yes. I can't be down an Xbox when Gears comes out in three weeks. I can't do it. Dun, dun, dun. Even if I'm even if I'm potentially playing on my PC, if I decide to play online, that's on there. <sighs> oh, All right, Joe, what do you got? Wait, I, I would done. Oh, oh yeah, Miguel's that. not done. Sorry, go ahead. Damn, he just doesn't want to hear you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> most, most times spent in a game is it's between a, cu- a few, because I'm not sure how much time I've logged in these. So Overwatch, I mean, I was level like 700 and 800, 900 and something. Blink so up. that's quite a hefty, hefty amount of time. Um, Witcher 3, I probably spent like 116 hours-ish on that. Yeah, the as far as most time played, those and probably Modern Warfare... The original Modern Warfare, I was 10th Prestige, yada, yada, yada. So I don't know what each of those translates to in time, so I don't know which one's the longest, but those are the most played, I think. Right. Now you can move on to Joe. Sorry, Joe. Joe. It's okay. Um, Just with the... <sighs> That's great. I was gonna say, uh, with the with the number of, of volumes, the, a number of games that they have, I would have to say Assassin's Creed would be the franchise that I've invested the most time in because I played every single one, even the even the arcadey ones like China, Russia, India. I've played those. Um, the only one I haven't played was Liberation, which was on the Vita. So I'm. I'm actually catching up and um, I'm going to play Rogue because um, it came out for, what was it, uh, Game Pass? It was either Game Pass or it was like free and I downloaded it. So that's, I think Rogue and Liberation were the only two that I haven't played. Um, but that's just with the, the, the quantity of games. I probably spent the most time, but with a series that has not that many games that I spent the most time in, I would say Fallout. So between Fallout 3, Fallout 4, New Vegas, 76, um, that's probably the the most time I've spent. Because, yeah, with Fallout 4 mods, I can sp- spend hours 
just building and just playing and just fucking with shit. So, yeah, we go. What about a single game? Um, Skyrim? One single game? Yes. Yeah. It would have probably be either Skyrim or Oblivion. Elder uh. Scrolls Oblivion. I, I, that's actually one of the only games that I 100%ed the entire game was, was Oblivion. So I, all the achievements, everything in the game, and I played every expansion, everything. So Oblivion probably would be the game for me. One single game. Yeah, for me, for a single game, I'd have to say an MMO, City of Heroes. I played the shit out of this fucking game, like... Time in and time out, capped the level space, did the villains, did all, made a villain and a hero. What about capped. galaxies? I didn't, I, I spent a lot of the time doing that, but I, I was really trying to get holocrons. And before they fucking, before I got my Jedi for the holocrons, they fucking switched it over where everybody can be a Jedi. So it, Jedi? So what the fuck? Sith, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Jedi, what? Sith, whatever. You know what I'm talking about. When, to become a Jedi or a Sith. Shut up, Joe. <laughs> uh, yeah. It'd be great if you fell out of a chair. I think City of Heroes, I spent more time than Star Wars Galaxy, though, because they fucking did that update where everybody can be a Jedi or a Sith. So. And plus they included dancing Wookiees. That's what made me turn off Galaxies. Yeah, it, it, once they did the update and they took it from what they used to have it to the new Galaxies, I said, fuck that. So. Could you imagine going to a strip club and have a, a Wookiee? There, you all the fucking hair flying all over the place. Jesus. <laughs> so, John, how about you, World of Warcraft? No, not even close. Minecraft. Um, Roblox. Craft. Well, I mean, I guess if you look at my Xbox, it's probably Minecraft or Roblox, but that's not me. That's my children. Viva Ooh. Pinata. <laughs> Insurgency oh, Sandstorm. Because you've been playing that no. forever. No? Okay. No, not even close. Oregon uh, Trail. I think I think No, nah, I didn't. Washington play that Trail. Um so Number as far as game series go, the one game series that I would say is my favorite, even though I haven't played as much as Joe, is Assassin's Creed. I started from the beginning and I got uh up to i think syndicate before i got burned out and kind of just fell off the wagon i don't play those i don't play assassin's creed anymore but i played all of them um i spent way too much time on black flag even after i beat the game i kept trying to get everything done um i but so that's my favorite series when i've spent the most time in uh a single game has got to be Overwatch. And in comparison, I just pulled it up on my Xbox app. On Xbox console alone, I have 47 days, 9 hours, and 12 minutes. <laughs> did you pull me up? Pull me up. Give me next. Give me next. I have it compared to you. Oh my god, you're going to do him now. Do it. I'm going to do, do me. you. All right. Do me. Do me. Do me. Do me. <laughs> so I have 47 days. Oh Playing time compared to Miguel's 66 days, oh 15 hey. hours, and 13 minutes. How many days do I have? Yeah, what about Zero. me? Two. Zero. Zero. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Let me do strong. Was it like one day? <laughs> uh, 20, 13 tw hours and 33 minutes. Fuck you, Overwatch. <laughs> That's just rude. And. Pro Diggy. One day, 18 minutes. Hey, I made a day. Jesus, oh, you made a whole he's day? Done, he's done better than you, Joe. Better? He doesn't finish. Is that, doesn't, why is that a better statistic? I fucking oh, hate he, the game. Yes, I'm only going to play it 13 now, hours. You did it now, he doesn't. Joe. He doesn't finish games, but he gave it a better fucking chance than you did. Fuck that. I played Paladins instead. Paladins are trash. They have cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they have cards. <laughs> so does Gwent. Go play Gwent, Joe. Fuck you. So does Madden. Fuck you, Miguel. So fuck Madden. <laughs> Madden, stupid. <laughs> fuck piece of shit. Eli Manning. Ah! Yeah. See what you did, John? Thank you, John. Well, bye, Um, 
So I just looked up to see how much time Miguel has played on The Witcher 3, but the version I have is not the version that he spent his time on. I have The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Complete Edition. You must have played it on a different one because it only shows you at 13 hours. Correct. Let me see if I can... Go ahead, continue the conversation. Hey! Sorry, green screen. That's going to be in the recording. Oh, well... John, can... You look up how much I played on Grand Theft Auto. How much you played with yourself? I can't five. do that. Sorry. Yeah. Me too. Do me. Mm, where, is where is that at? Where do you where do you I look that up? Find it. Uh, it's under achievements. So you go to achievements. You click on the game. Hmm. Oh, it's the Assassin's Creed Unity. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'm getting a little loading circle. All and right. then you go activity feed, or where do you find achievements? And then you click on the game, and it'll bring it up. And then you click compare with friends. Oh, compare with friends. Oh, so, well, this isn't seen. right either. I clicked Assassin's Creed Unity. I have four days, and Joe only has nineteen hours. Joe only has nineteen. Was that hours. Unity? Yeah. Well, yeah, because I beat the single player. How much did he play Black? Like it's it's uh, it's um, how much time you spent playing it, not online. Right, I know, but Unity was the one where you could do multiplayer. Oh, yeah, Unity yeah, was but... the only, where you could do co-op multiplayer, and I think Chris yeah. and I only played it like twice. Yeah, but we other, played it twice. We yeah, like, other cool. than that, other than that, we I just did so fucking single player, and I just yeah, no, but it's how uh, what how much time you played in the game total, not online, just total game time right and it only had 17 hours and that's it yeah i beat it oh all right story uh, mode compared to black flag <laughs> i played black flag on my xbox 360 i never played it on my xbox one so that my uh but time is not accurate profile should have carried over it didn't it only yeah. has seven hours oh i was gonna say if you scroll down there's 360 versions too uh but joe has three days and 12 hours on black flag <sighs> Um, The Witcher Three: Wild Hunt, five days, one hour, and forty-seven minutes. Nice. Get grief. I don't think this is Which accurate. One day, one hundred and twenty-one hours and forty-seven minutes. That was all on a horse, right? Yeah, it was all on a horse. That's all that's in that game. Ask John. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I played Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Why is it not? It's not giving me times. Hmm. <laughs> Because it's on the 360, it didn't record it apparently. Hey, I played Ark for ten days. Nice. Hmm. You poor. Ooh, seven days to die. Oh, we should My look up. Listeners. We should look up Ark. We should look up uh, Conan. Oh, we played <laughs> Conan forever, Joe. I know. Conan. There you go. Grand Theft Auto Five. I mean, I honestly, we. I think we played. I think we played Minecraft more than we played Conan. Honestly, in Check my opinion, them. I think. Okay. <laughs> Get this one, guys. All right. Seven days to die. My time played. Six days, 22 hours, 28 minutes. Joe's <laughs> time played. Two days, 13 hours, 35 minutes. So a third of what I played. My zombie kills. 1,262. Joe's zombie kills. 78. I built I built more than... I was just building. <laughs> I was not like, zombie, 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 zombie. I'm like, fuck it, I'm building. I'm a builder. Incredibly low. Mine's gonna be like seven zombies killed. Like <laughs> Pro Diggy. Uh one out one day, nineteen hours, twenty five minutes, thirty seven zombies killed. It's a shame yeah. you can't I, I wish I wish Xbox had this like the statistic where you could just say uh times played, like your play time and just say from top to bottom and see what, what's the top uh um, top yeah. Yeah, your top played oh, games. Sure. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, No Man's Sky. Let's let's go. Oh, oh wait. Yeah. Oh my god. Right. We've gone off on a tangent here, fellas. We sure it's have. Okay, pull we're it, already here. Pull it back in. <laughs> what about Castle <laughs> Castle Crashers, Chris? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> All right. So, uh, thank you for sharing your favorite series and Let me banish. time. Yes, Miguel. No Man's Sky units earn five hundred eighty-nine thousand eight hundred seventy-nine for me. For Joe, four million eight hundred eighty-one thousand seven hundred thirty-nine. 
That's what I say. No, I don't want to play this fucking game. It's like crack. I'm trying to quit. Okay. Planets discovered by Joe. Twenty-two. Planets discovered by me. Three. <laughs> and they're all uh, named inappropriately. <laughs> So that will wrap up the more you know portion of the more you know. Uh, I do want to bring up, we are still doing our $100 contest. Uh, the winner gets $100 gift card. Second place gets $50. Um, we currently have no submissions, so... Please, please submit. I mean, I know we have listeners. I look at the stats every day. I see people listening. If you want $100, send us a story. And at this point, fucking anything counts at this point i mean it's nobody sending us anything it's got to be with the rules yeah uh, yes miguel i'll do a participation prize if we get 10 entries one of those entries will randomly get 25 dollars. you don't have to win but you have to have a legitimate entry not like i'm entering it's gotta be it's gotta meet the recommended criteria by john and there had to be 10 entries total and one of those lucky people will randomly get the prize of $25. You don't have to necessarily win, but you could still win and still get a hundred bucks on top of that. Oh, just sweet in the pot already. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Participation so get your, trophy. Get your entries in already. Damn it. That's it. That's it for the more, you know, sweet. All right. We're going to move on down to our, what the fucks. Um, do you guys have any what the fucks for the week? Yes. Oh, t- yeah. Hello. Absolutely. All right. Whoever wants to go first, go for who, it. Who, who can guess mine? Who can guess mine? Xbox. Uh, Best Buy. GameStop. Best Buy. Joe ah, win. Shots. Again. So close. <laughs> eh, what the fuck, Best Buy? That's all I'll say on that. Dead Horse beating it. Never they still can. have your Xbox? Yes. Uh, I'll accept questions if you guys have questions. Uh, you ordered a new Gears of War Xbox. Why yeah. Not? No questions. No, no, no questions. I mean, it's... Uh, my question is: when you get your old Xbox One X back, how much will you sell it to me for? How much will you give me for it? Uh, I can't promise that it will continue to work. That's a good point. Yes, Chris. Uh, question for you, Miguel. Uh, how long has that Xbox been in the shop? When did you drop it off? Um, the second time or the first time? Second time. Because we already it's talked been, about the first time. It's been in there for a week. Been and in there for a week? It, it apparently hasn't even arrived yet. What are they doing to what it? What does that mean? Hasn't arrived Sh- yet. Shipping status says it's been shipped or it's arrived. It's arrived at the place, but they haven't done anything to fix it yet, apparently. What the fuck? YouTube video. Miguel's Xbox off of a 20-story building. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. It doesn't work. <laughs> we can't fix hey, it. <laughs> it would get more use if somebody did that than I'm getting out of it. God damn it. Are they soaking it in water? What's going on? I fucking That's hope crazy. they're doing something to make it not work. <laughs> I hope they're God. breaking it to the point of no repair so they can fucking replace it. Yeah, that's crazy, man. That sucks, dude. I'm sorry about yeah. that. No, I went to the uh, I went to the store today. The fuck was that? I went to the actual Best Buy store today to try and see if they could actually do something because um, <laughs> they reached back out to me through the forums because I've complained through there. Get it, Sean? And uh... I know I was watching it too. I was like, eh. <laughs> I was covering my beer. God, fuck. And they'll fucking they'll fucking reply to me. And then I reply back, and then I don't get a response again until, like, the next day. It's driving me fucking nuts. So, um, I ordered my new Gears of War Xbox One X today. So, even if that one breaks after I get it back, I won't be down an Xbox. Yeah, fuck you, Best Buy. <sighs> Ironically, I ordered it at Best Buy. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, how much... Are you, like, are you going to get a trade-in value for the old one? So, you can trade in an Xbox One X... And the value online with the power cable and a controller says 180 bucks, which, okay, I'm fine with that. So I ran that by the guy I was talking to today, and he's like, okay, I'll pull it up. He pulled it up based off the exact one I have, which is Project Scorpio. And he's like, oh, it looks like we don't have trade-ins for that one. Like, are you fucking kidding me? So Project Scorpio should be worth more. Right, because it's the first edition yeah. Xbox. So, yeah. Oh, Rare. that goes to my question. 
Yes, Joe. Will you be ordering any more special edition or first edition consoles? Probably fucking not, because, I mean, <laughs> they don't mean anything. They really don't. If anything, you can potentially sell the box that it comes in for more than you get from a trade-in. Jeez. Oh, wow. Sucks. Damn. Yeah. So I won't be getting a Project Scarlet unless it's got, like, Scarlett Johansson's skin oh, we'll on it or something. I don't Xbox know. Xbox Y. Xbox One Y. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All these new yeah. Xbox controllers are awesome. They're Amazing. so realistic. Oh, it's so awesome. Feels so wow. real. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the left's a little bigger than the one on the right. So, so when I finally get mine back, I'm contemplating just burning the fuck out of it, as in like playing it nonstop where it gets really hot and hopefully kills it again so I can just keep sending it back and then I can bitch again and then maybe they'll fucking fix it. Because I'll have my Gears of War one to... Or they'll just over. eventually you 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 have a case where you can just get a new one, just say look I've sent it in like so many times, just give me a new one. That's all I want. That's what I'm trying to do now, and they're like, oh, they gotta try and fix it. So I keep well, what if, with them. How many times do you try to fix it? Come on, or it's the same issue every fixed. single time. Yeah, and they won't extend my protection plan. I'm like, so, and I've told them this. I'm like, you're just band-aiding the fix mm -hmm. until my protection plan runs out. So that's basically what they're fucking doing. So, bullshit. Be warned, Best Buy protection plans for stuff that can be fixed. Like I took my I took my Elite controller back today too, and they replaced it. It's nothing. They just okay. We'll get you a new one. So I ordered the new Gen, the Gen Two that comes out in November. <laughs> but that they fucking that's half the price of an Xbox, and they just took it. Said okay, it's broken. We'll get you a new one. Fucking give me a new Xbox. And that's the end of that one. Um, my other what the fuck. <laughs> Madden challenges are fucking stupid. Mm -hmm. So, as we were giving it praise the other day, you up the difficulty and you get more stars. Woohoo! Um, to unlock stuff, to unlock certain stuff, you have to get max stars on everything. Mm -hmm. And there's challenges like win the or don't let the opposing team get 40 yards, sack the quarterback once and do two user tackles um sorry if you you have like three plays basically if you stop them because they turn over and it has to be on that drive um eli manning doesn't fucking hold on to the ball long enough to sack his ass and the fact that old madden from what i recall you get three stars and those just compile to your total and it's just leveling up and you earn stuff that way to get specific things, you have to fucking get max stars on everything, and it pissed me off, and I haven't played Madden since last week. I'll second that what the fuck. What the fuck, Madden? You're going to sit there, and you got so many players griping about their overall numbers, but yet you're going to make Eli like this flawless fucking quarterback? Eli? Eli Manning, come on, man. Eli? Yeah. Yeah. Like we're Dude. like I honestly think like they want you to do these challenges um, co-op because you can do some of these challenges co-op and I don't know mm -hmm. if, if if that applies to the difficulty or or what but I'm like the next time I play Miguel you and I will co-op and we'll team up on this Eli retard motherfucker and we will sack him and because I've got T J Watt J J Watt. Inamakin Sue, fucking Chris Jones, I've got Ryan Shazir, I've got all of these pass rushers that, yeah, I mean, Ryan Shazir isn't a pass rusher now, but, yeah, um, but yeah, I, I think that the, like, the harder difficulty, they want you to up your overall team score to, like, 85, and that's very hard to do in Madden right now without doing Especially all of Especially if you can't. Complete yeah. the challenges to get the better cards. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I bought the Ultimate Edition, and I think Chris has some what-the-fucks about this, too, but I have, I bought the Ultimate Edition, so I got, like, 12 packs where I could, um, you know, upgrade my roster, whereas anybody that bought the regular edition, they're kind of fucked. So, yeah. I yeah. mean, I can speak on this, too, about the regular edition. Like, I, I'm having fun playing madden i mean but me paying for the regular edition 
and noticing that my team isn't as stacked as what Joe has, he paid for that stack. That's what he did. Yep. And for me, I've got, win. I've got maybe like three or four players that I like, and then the rest are pretty much garbage. The random players that I don't really care about. And then I'm unlocking like Juju and OBJ and all kinds of stuff. So, I mean, it's it's cool to Wait, a point, but it makes me want to buy packs. You got OBJ? Well, you get the you get you finish the stars for OBJ. You have to get like all the stars. I, I believe I unlocked him. He's on my roster. Must have been like a one day or ultimate Dude, trainer I'm, thing because I'm trying to get the, like the ninety overall OBJ. That's the one I'm trying to get. Oh, no, I haven't gotten no. He's okay, like because that the... one you have to give up. You that one you have to give up like an ungodly amount of gold cards, player cards to get that one OBJ. It could have been a pack that I opened, but I only had like oh, two packs. Lucky you. Congratulations. You got OBJ. Yeah, thanks. But I didn't pay. I, I mean, I didn't pay for what I wanted. So I'm not for Madden. And I'll talk a little bit more about it during my rando shit. But just on that part is what I got is what I got, basically. And if I wanted to expand my all-star team, you know, that mm-hmm. that team that I really want, I'd have to pay $100 to get that. And I'm looking at should I buy more coins to get more packs? And it's it, they're sucking me in with the fucking microtransactions. And I'm not going to fall for it. I already fell hook and sinker with the goddamn Grand Theft Auto. And I'm not going to do it again. So, oh, wait. That's, with- that's, gotcha, your, that's your new trap. That's that snap trap that you got. It's like, gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they don't, they're not even no. reeling you in they just have that snap trap that you got when you go fishing it's like gotcha bitch it, it literally hit my mind though should i buy these packs should i buy the coins to get these packs i'm like fuck that i'm not falling for it again do i it. thought about it too you're do not alone it. do yeah it. i already did do it fuck you joe <laughs> His came with the the microtransactions included. But I already I did it again. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I spent I spent money on Madden. <laughs> oh my god! I know, man. This is a rough month. Yeah. We had a whole uh, this... we had a whole segment with music and everything about fuck microtransactions. Some of our original listeners remember that, and yep. look at us now. Yeah, we're fuck. It's gamers disease god damn it it sucks august is fuck you microtransaction month yeah i'm gonna throw in that music again yeah instead of instead of it being like you know prostate cancer awareness month it's microtransaction microtransaction month fuck you microtransaction month speaking of which i don't think joe said this on the news he may have um but i did see something about playstation uh xbox and nintendo Refusing to sell loot boxes unless they release the odds for that as well. That was last week in the news. So. Okay, I, th- I thought it was covered, but yeah. I didn't hear it today. So yeah, yeah. Mm. That's not a... No, that's okay. That's all right. You got any others, Joe? What the fuck? Oh, I have. Well, I have... So okay, we're gonna continue the Madden roll of death with what the fucks. Okay, so I'm playing Madden. Those of you can see me on the camera. Okay, um, I'm playing. I haven't played right. I have Travis Kelsey going across the middle, running a slant route. Okay, the cornerback is clearly behind him, probably about a yard. Okay, I throw the ball. I have Patrick Mahomes, bazooka arm. I hold the button. Laser pass, right? Cornerback jumps the route underneath, intercepts it. (laughs) What the fuck? At that point, rage quit, turn off Madden, haven't played it since. And that was right after. It's funny because Joe was talking about, yeah, it's not that bad. We can team up and we can mm-hmm. pass that Eli challenge. Yep. And then like five minutes later, I get fucking mad. In the yep. <laughs> yep. GTE. They jumped the route. I don't know. Like Kelsey had like a yard, yard, maybe yard and a half in front of the the cornerback. And then all of a sudden he jumps the route, goes underneath Kelsey and intercepts the ball. When I threw a bullet pass to Kelsey, there was no way that, it, it, there was no fucking way that this could have ever happened, even in real life, even in fucking Matt, uh, NFL blitz, that this could have happened. But it did. So Madden, fix your shit. There's no fucking way. Yes, I was playing it on hard difficulty, so that that means it's all pro, um, or Madden. What is it? All pro or veteran all difficult? Pro. All pro. 
So, yeah, but even then, a quarterback's not just going to, like, I'm jogging behind the receiver. Oh, and then I'm going to just run fast and intercept the ball. Fuck you. Teleport. Fuck you, game. Did, Fuck you, game. Did I talk about JPP's hand last week? No, you didn't. He has all his fingers. Through his ah, finger. Madden. Mir- the Mir- magic Mir- of Madden. Madden. Yeah. But- Madden miracle. Magic. Plastic yeah. surgery and Madden. It's yeah. Miracle. Um, my other what the fuck is outside of gaming. Um, I live in this fucked up neighborhood in this fucked up little piece of shit area in Arizona. And uh, the only reason that it's fucked up is because the HOA. Uh, those of you that deal with HOAs, you know what I'm talking about. So I got this notice. I got not only one notice, not two, but I got three notices at the same time. Um, because these lazy fucks want to drive around the neighborhood and they want to take pictures of all the flaws in everybody's houses and they only give you 10 days to fix, or they could possibly report you and have you fined for not resolving the issue. Um, some of these flaws you could only see if you were actually on my property. So I have a feeling that some of these people in my HOA or the property management company actually um, trespassed, came on my property, saw the flaw, then walked back out to the street and took it from the street. Because there's no possible way that they could see this flaw from the street. And even the picture that they took, you can't even see the flaw. They just put a circle of where the flaw is. So fuck you HOA, I posted on Facebook today. Um, I said there's a reason why fucking families and there's so many houses for sale in Belmont is because the piece of shit HOA that's here in, in Belmont, Arizona. So fuck you HOA. You can suck my dick like balls deep gagging. I hope you choke on it. Fuckers. Yes, Chris. I totally understand with the HOA situation. I remember when I used to live over, uh, over on enterprise, there was uh, an HOA fee sent to us. And literally, they're sending us a fee for like $300 because I didn't take my trash cans and took the handle facing the house. The The handles were facing outside of the house. Does that make sense? Where I pushed the trash can towards the house. They wanted me to turn the trash mm-hmm. can around and push it against the house. Yeah, and that's see, fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. Yeah, I, I understand, dude. Yeah, so at this point, if, if I could afford to... Right in this moment, right now, I would move. If I could afford to, I would move. Mm-hmm. Yeah, dude, they're bullshit. They're this, bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. I mean, I, yeah, like I said, I posted on Facebook and I said there's a reason why families are leaving Belmont. They want to retain people here in Belmont and make it a larger community. But here the HOA is this un- ungodly rules. Like, I have the paint that the house was painted with. Like, my house is this brown color. I have the brown paint that was used on the house. I said, okay, there's spots that I need to touch up. Can I touch it up with this paint? Well, no, you have to get the paint approved through the HOA. And the paint approval has to have a a light reflective value. And we have to approve it before you can patch it. I said, but I have the paint that was used to paint the fucking house. Oh, fuck you. That's so stupid. So then I take the paint to Home Depot and I said, can you give me an LRV value for this paint? They said, no, it's a custom color. We can't do LRVs for custom paint colors. Like, this is the color that came on the house. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do? <laughs> so I'm like, and then, and then I go back to the house. I know, I go back to the HOA and they're like, well, you have to paint it in a color that, that's approved. And I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. When I can afford it, I'll paint the entire house. So kiss my ass and suck my dick and go to hell. Mr. Garrison. Yes, Miguel. The, uh, the fact that you had to paint your entire house to fix the small parts reminds me of uh, that time that Chris had to buy a new mic because his ha- arm of his did. Yep. <laughs> no, but that was his choice. This is not my choice. I have to paint my entire house and trim and get this. Oh, oh, my, the Probably. white, the white on the house has to be approved as well. The white. Oh. It's fucking oh. white paint. Joe, you need to move. I know exactly. Yeah. I'm moving. I, I, I honestly, I swear to God, if I could afford to move right now, I would sell my house and I would move. I would move. I don't give a fuck. I'd live in Lower Greenlaw if I could. What about those houses that they're building in Railroad Springs? I'm not moving to Williams. Fuck that. I want good internet. If I'm going to move, I'm going to get great internet. He said Railroad Springs, but no, no John I said Williams. John said no. William. Railroad Springs, the new houses. 
Yeah, let's put them back behind Railroad Springs. They're four hundred thousand dollar houses back there. A lot of trains too. And, and to, I don't care about the trains. The trains don't bother me. I live in California, right by the train tracks. Yeah, but no, I. I yeah, no, fuck that. I, mm -mm. I went and looked at a seven hundred fifty thousand dollar house today. Why? Jesus, crush Why? your you crush your dreams. Your fucking, you just yeah. bought your twenty twenty fucking home on wheels. Why you just, are you looking yeah. at houses? You just bought your house. That's our house. Uh, the the house had or the property had two houses on it, so we could live in the bigger house and rent out the other one to make our mortgage. So you would have three with your trailer then. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. There you go. But we're not gonna do it. It no. doesn't seem feasible for us. John's got three homes. Yeah. No. So that's that's it for but my what the homes. fucks. That's it for what the fucks for me. Sure. Any, anybody buy else? One, buy one of those big houses in uh. In Railroad Springs and get the mother-in-law quarters and I'll move in with you guys and live in the mother-in-law quarters. Yeah, no shit. There was one house that we wanted to buy that had a quarters over the garage, but somebody bought it underneath us, so fuck ah, them. Or whatever. Anyway, that's that's it. what I got for what the fuck. Chris, I know you got a laundry list. Let's hear it. Let me go first. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, John, you're like so... Oh, well, yeah, you're what, the, you're, you're what the fucks are flying all over the room. Yeah, Yeah, I know. He, uh, if you were watching the video and you see random flies and... You're, Here's some random banging. Yeah. Uh, somebody, probably one of my children. It could have been me. I'll be honest. It was you. Uh, it probably was, but it could have been one. No, I don't throw. <laughs> I don't throw food in this garbage can. Uh, there was a really old, nasty piece of pizza in my garbage can in my office, and there was just a swarm of fruit flies. So I got fruit flies flying all over. You can see them on the video if you watch the video, and uh, yeah. I keep trying to swat them. Um, so that's one of my what the fucks. My other, it's not really a what the fuck. So maybe I'll save it for Rando. Okay. Flies. Ah, no, get off my stuff. <sighs> oh, oh, geez. All, all right. Now's the time, guys. It is time for Chris's what the fucks. From what I understand, he forgot some last week. So this is spanning over two weeks. And this could be an earful. So just fair warning. Um, Chris, take it away. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> All right, so we'll start off from last week that I didn't talk about. Um, you guys already know this, but my tags got stolen off my car. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I was pretty upset about this. I had to call the DMV and repurchase some tags, which luckily in Arizona, buying tags is like $5.55. But you have to go through all that bullshit. Buying is... replacement tags. Yes, oh. replacement tags, yeah. So, <laughs> fucking stupid. I wish tags were five fifty five, John. That would be amazing. But <laughs> replacement tags, it only cost me that much. And then to buy my, um, yeah, it was five dollars and fifty five cents. It wasn't that bad at all. So, but it it was just stupid to have to go through getting jacked, either at the Burger King that I was at. So what happened? This is the weirdest thing. So I was in line at work. Um, so I went to work during lunch. Sorry, I'm getting all fucked up and drinking some beers, but. I was I went to lunch and I was in a drive through line at Burger King and like long ass line. I was sitting there for like 15, 20 minutes and this fucking weird crackhead lady knocks on my window. She gets out of her car out of the line, knocks on my window and she asked me, she goes, you know, your tags are expired. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, why are you asking me this? So her tag, she told me that my tags were expired and that at that point i was like yeah thank you i don't know why you guys are dying laughing but um joe's fault it's yeah. my fault i mean i think it's i think it's funny but i i did send a text message but it was funny um no i just think it was funny this old old white or i don't know what she was i'm assuming was that she was white yeah i'm assuming crackhead's white you know but anyway um <laughs> i don't give a fuck um yeah I just, I don't know. In Burger King, of all places, it's like, oh, hey, your tags are missing. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the tags. Who fucking comes up to your fucking window while you're sitting in a drive through line and knocks on your freaking window, <laughs> tells you to roll down your window to tell you that your tags are expired? I, I like, mean, what it's, like, it's like somebody out there going, <laughs> siphoning out your gas. Hey, your, your gas is empty. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> In her defense, Chris, you could be grateful for that poor old lady. Yeah, Fuck you. Could have been doing a good deed for me. Oh, God. Someone else and now, you're, and now you're talking shit. Yeah. 
but it was just weird. It was a weird instance. That's how I noticed that my tags got stolen. So I don't know if it was her or if it was somebody else. You know, I could be totally grateful for the lady to bring it up, bringing it to my attention. So that was that was great on that, you know, or she jacked my tags. One or the other, I do not know. I didn't get out of my car to check. And so at that point, I was like, fuck, and I paid for the replacement tags. And that was supposed to be my what the fuck for last week. So moving on to the what the fucks for this week, um, it got pretty crazy. So we decided to go to Phoenix to go to one of my cousin's birthdays. Um, it wasn't their birthday, but it was their, it was, I don't know, I guess that's my, not a niece, but my cousin's daughter. Her birthday was at like a bounce house and it was in Phoenix. It was 106 degrees and our GMC AC died. It completely died on us on the way over to the bounce house in Phoenix. So it was super fucking hot. And if you guys don't know, I've got a four, uh, five month year old and a one year old as well in the car. So we were freaking out. We were scared they're going to get heat stroke and everything. So we put water on them. We made like six, seven stops on the way back up because after the party, we took off. And so um, during that episode, we took our car, our GMC, to, to get it diagnosed later on to see what happened to the AC. And apparently the technician, so we took it to an AC place for our GMC and they pretty much told us a condenser, a cooling fan, a compressor and something in the dash went out for our AC. So now we're going to have to pay over $1400 to get our AC fixed entirely for the GMC Acadia. Um and that it seems like a lot of bullshit to me. It does to me too, but I I mean at this point I'm fucking throwing away cash. I'm going to be paying it on Thursday. That's so nice. I'm going to be broke as fuck. Um, from this situation the GMC needs it and our children need to have the AC when we go to Phoenix and just anywhere because when we go to Chino it's like 95 degrees so it's pretty bad Joe I was just gonna say fuck stop going to Phoenix fuck Phoenix don't go fuck I hear you John uh so you drove two and a half hours to go to a birthday party for your cousin's kid second yeah. cousin right Se- no would no would it be second cousin because your cousin your well, cousin's kid kids would be, would be cousin yeah okay so first of all that is about two hours and 25 minutes too far to go to a cousin's kid's birthday party we did it because we love our family that's what we do you know what i mean oh, okay fuck my family because i hate <laughs> i never said that you hate i love my, my family i love my family minutes. too but fucking going to phoenix for a birthday party no. two and a half hours for a birthday party nah nah i ain't doing well, that i think what it is is like our daughter doesn't really have any friends and all these kids were her age so we wanted her to play with all the little kids is she gonna remember it well uh your daughter doesn't have any friends that's not on her that's on the people who control who she sees on a daily basis so you're dumbass i'm not gonna we don't have a preschool (laughs) god damn it (laughs) No, anyway. again, again, it's like taking your daughter. Oh, I want to take my daughter to Disneyland. She's one years old. Is she really going to remember? Nope. No. I did it. Nope. Oh, you want pictures? There's called Photoshop. I saw Kate Beckinsale this week. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> we had no idea this was going to happen, first of all. Well, that's, that's, I'm I mean, ignoring that part. I, I'm <laughs> focusing on the fact that you drove two and a half hours for a cousin's child's birthday party. I would not do that. Nope. I would only got drive an hour for my brother's child's birthday party. We decided to go. It was something that we were going to do. Great. So, yeah. I mean, damn. Did you do anything uh, else or did you just go to the birthday party and then come home? Well, since our, I was going to go see Coda, our, my friend Coda, and because he's having a baby soon and we we're going to see his new wifey and all that shit and hanging out with him. But our AC died, so we just decided to say, fuck it, let's get up the hill to cooler air because we had our windows down and it was fucking ridiculous. John. What happened to his old wifey? Um, She wasn't a wifey. She was a crazy-ass biatch. Ah, uh, oh, don't talk. Sorry, Joe, I didn't mean to bring you up. I'm, I'm not on the inside on that conversation. No, with the nails yeah. like... No. Uh, and what year is your Acadia there, uh, Chris? 2011. Okay, well... I have a 2007 GMC Acadia, and whoever was the engineer who designed it is an absolute douchebag. Mm-hmm. Because 
I have to take the wheels off in order to replace the headlights. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, I would, I probably would not uh, do that whole air conditioning uh, repair myself, even though I fix cars all the time. So, yeah, I hear yeah. it was pretty complicated. We actually yeah. looked it up on YouTube. Jackie's, uh, my wife's dad is a car mechanic. He's certified okay. and all that shit. And we looked it up. There's literally two frames that are surrounding the co- compressor. So you have to take off the whole front end of the car, the oh. dash and everything. That's why it's costing so much. I, I And I brought this up before in the podcast. What the fuck? My wife has a 2007 GMC Acadia and whoever designed that is an asshole. <laughs> I have a 2007 GMC Sierra and whoever designed that is my hero. <laughs> so what? The f- I have a 2007 Yukon XL GMC. Yeah. No issues. Yeah, but I just mean like I had to replace the window motor on my GMC and it was easy. The door just pops off. It was easier than the, the 2001 Dodge I had. Mm-hmm. But to replace headlights on an 07 Acadia the same fucking year, I have to take the wheels off? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Yeah. And like, and like, if I have to, want to replace, the, take the CD player out, the uh, the surround on my dash, it literally just pops off. Hmm. Yeah. Which is why a lot of them get stolen. But whatever. That's not the point. It's easier to repair. The point is they may, easy. Yeah, they make it easy for you to do stuff. Except for the Acadia. Like, yeah, the Acadia is a complicated fucking vehicle, man. Yeah, it is. And the batteries in front of the rear passenger mm-hmm. side seat. It's stupid, man. And even the... So we tried to fill the Freon in the AC, and they put the free. Usually the Freon is... The Freon charger is right in the front um, okay. where the engine is in the hood. It's yeah, underneath right. the fucking car, inside That's... the frame. You have to go underneath the car and go between the two wheels it's fucking ridiculous. So we filled the reef, the Freon, and it wasn't even checking the Freon. So we're like, great, we have a bigger problem than what we expected. So, yeah, I'm pretty fucked on this GMC, um, and I'm going to be broke as fuck in the next t- week or two. Trade it! <laughs> yeah, no, we love our, we love the Acadia. It's a great car. It's a great family vehicle. It's just yeah. it's very complicated. That's all. So, Watch out for stumps. Get a Yukon. Yeah. Watch out for stumps. Yeah. All right, what else you got, Chris? All right. So, going piggybacking off the n- not having air. So we were driving to Chino Valley because it was my wife's birthday and it was super hot. So we had to roll down the windows when we, once we got closer to Chino. And I was sitting in the passenger seat. My wife was driving, and all of a sudden, I felt something hit my face. I thought it was a rock. Something hit me in the face. Flew through the window, hit me right in the face on the way to Chino. And I looked down, and it's a yellow jacket. And it's like squiggling on the floor. So I put my foot on it. I stomped on it. I'm like, oh, shit, I can't move my foot because it was pegged in between the the carpet of the floor and the actual floor of the car. So I didn't know if it was going to escape between my shoes and the little gap between the the carpet. So I just kept my foot down the whole time. But I literally got whopped in the face. I didn't get stung by the yellow jacket. That's racist. So it it was pretty crazy. John? (laughs) One time I was driving uh, through a town north of here, Marysville, and I had my window open, and uh, all of a sudden I hear this big wham, and I look up, and then the With door gloves. frame, wham, <laughs> wham, uh, the, the window frame where the door right here over my left shoulder, there was this big old wad of gum. Somebody had got a <laughs> giant fucking gumball or something and chewed it up and spit it out the window and it then they and it hit my uh, door frame and just went. Good thing it didn't get frame. in your beard. Yeah, I didn't. Oh my this God. was before I could grow a beard. <laughs> oh, okay. Good thing it didn't get in your mouth. <laughs> How many times would you have chewed it before you spit it out? Like, what is that? <laughs> oh. Uh, one time, uh, what was I driving? I was either driving my 84 Bronco or my 84 Toyota, and I had the little uh, triangle window open, and a <laughs> wasp flew in, and I was wearing shorts, and it got up my shorts up to my thigh. Oh, and, my God. And I didn't realize it, and uh, it started stinging the in th- inside of my thigh while I'm driving down the highway. Oh, my God. That's crazy, dude. Yeah. I'm glad that didn't happen. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so going on to my uh, one of my other what the fucks. This was kind of disturbing. So I decided to – I was coming back from um, 
Red Lobster. So my wife, I, I met her at Red Lobster with her car and I was driving my car and I decided to drive uh, the Route 66 way. And I, I, I look on the left side of the road and there's a dead deer with a birthday balloon tied to his head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a birthday balloon like floating tied to his mm-hmm. neck. It was a dead deer. I was like, what the fuck? This is some they, fallout shit. They got the wrong balloon. They're supposed to get the get well soon balloon yeah yeah I didn't, it could have been a get well soon balloon <laughs> it was it was tied to his fucking neck it was a dead carcass of a deer with a balloon tied to his head it was so fucking weird i kind of thought That's i was funny. playing fallout yeah it, it made me good. laugh every time i because I, I always take that way i don't go like the main exit for flagstaff yeah. i always take 66 um mm-hmm. and i saw it and i just laughed i thought it was fucking hilarious it brightened my day so too. thank you whoever put that balloon on it because i saw it when it was fresh and this carcass is like three, four weeks. Oh, like oh, yeah, God. it's just it's basically oh. just skin and bones. That's all, and the smell is horrendous. Yeah. every time you drive by it. But anyway, Arizona doesn't have a. a it's not DOT or something. That but it's not. It, it's not in the road. This was off the road. It's off the road. Probably <laughs> like I don't know, four or five feet <laughs> off yeah, of the but... road. So they just leave it. Hell. Just fuck it. Uh, but anyway, wow. yeah, I it, it brightened my day because I was yeah. like, that's fucking funny. Fucking happy birthday and it's dead. Oh, God, that's funny. I thought it was it was disturbing for me. I thought I was playing Fallout. I was like, what the hell's going on? Some weird shit going on. That's funny. Um, yeah, and then my last what the fuck um, was I have to. So I have all streaming for football. I don't have an antenna right now. And. So I went to go watch my preseason game and I was extremely pissed. I know I called Joe to see if he had the if the if he had the game on too, but I missed my preseason game because every single online source that I had, YouTube TV, PlayStation View, NFL Network, on my cell phone, um what else did I use? Uh Tune In Radio for Arizona Cardinals, none of those had the game playing whatsoever. I could not listen to it, I could not watch it. I couldn't do anything. It said it could not be streamed live, and I was fucking pissed. Um, so I was ridiculously angry. I literally locked myself in the room and just started drinking Blair's beers and playing Grand Theft Auto V with Miguel. And, and yeah, you remember that, Miguel, when we had yeah. a blast playing. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I was, I was pretty pissed off that I didn't get to see Kyler debut his first day in the NFL, even though it's a preseason game. It doesn't really matter, but it matters to me as a fan. Um, so it pissed me off. So fuck you, PlayStation View. And I don't know what kind of contracts they have with cable or whatever, but that's probably what's going on with the NFL um, and all that shit. So my what the fucks were just pretty whack this week. Yeah, Joe. Did you unbury your antenna yet? Actually, I went and spent a I spent forty three dollars on a outside antenna, and I connected it to. So I have two satellite poles on my roof because we switched from direct tv to um the other dish what was it? dish yeah we sw- switched from direct to dish so i have two satellite poles i had one empty satellite pole and i connected the actual antenna to that and i un i disconnected the actual coaxial cable that's connected to the dish that's currently on there right now to the actual um, antenna that i have and i ran that to the house and uh it's fucking amazing now i have uh, regular antenna cable I'll be ready to watch the Cardinal games at least um, so I'm not fucked anymore and I'm, I'll am I'll have that permanently so but I took care of that issue it just pissed me off for that first fucking game and uh, yeah those are all my what the fucks I'm done bitching this was a great bitch episode for me so I'm done alright so we're done with our what the fucks for the week do you guys have anything to talk about on a random shit segment yes yes all right, uh, Miguel, you go ahead. Okay, let me find this real quick. <clears throat> so, I was scrolling Facebook earlier, and there was a guy who forced an AI robot, who forced a robot to watch like a thousand hours of Batman content, and then made it write a script for a Batman movie. So, here is the first page of the script. Um, Batman stands next to his Batmobile and uses his Bat computer. He's sometimes Bruce Wayne, sometimes Batman, all time orphan. Batman, 
This is now a safe city. I have punched a penguin in prison. Alfred, Batman's loyal battler, carries a tray of goth ham. Alfred, eat a dinner, Mattress Wayne. An explosion explodes. The Joker and Two-Face enter the cave. Joker is a clown, but insane. Two-Face is a man, but attorney. Batman, no, it is Two-Face and One-Face. They hate me for being a bat. That's the first half of that first page. Don't even finish please, it. Please don't make AI write stuff. Please well, don't. I, I, from what it, the way it sounds, it seems like uh, DC has AI write all of their movie scripts. Hey, yeah. take it easy there. I'm sorry, yeah. but uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Jesus. God. My other rando. Um, so I was talking to my office mate today about drafting for... NFL this year for fantasy football. And here is my question I pose to you guys. Who is a worthy first round receiver? The standard first round receivers are fucked this year, aside from Julio. Fitz, um, Fitz first round. All right, go ahead. All right, shake your head now. But I mean, you have Odell, who is, uh, he's not with the Giants. He was great. Is he going to be great with the Browns? It's to be determined. Um, Antonio is having a bitch fit about everything. Um, Joe, Michael Thomas. Yeah, Michael Thomas was the only one that came to my mind too. So I had Michael Thomas and I had uh, Hopkins potentially, but honestly, I'd rather go Fuller than Hopkins. Mm, no, just because the the catch percentage for uh, for Hopkins, I I would still go Hopkins. Um, yeah, I, I honestly, like, my number first round wide receiver pick would be Michael Thomas. Yeah, that was my thought, too. Michael um, Thomas, and then... I, but, I mean, I, mean I, like, I, would, I would even do Diggs, or, fuck, we lost two, we lost two drones. Thielen? Uh, oh, Dig, no. Yeah, uh, Diggs or Thielen, um, as far as wide receivers. So, I mean, I would even, honestly, I don't know, this, this may cross the boundaries, but uh, would draft a tight end. Kelsey, uh, Kittle, um, Rudolph, first round. Uh, this year, the the running backs may take first round. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Because you have McCaffrey, hey, you have Kamara. Yep. Um, there there are a lot of star running backs this uh, year. I mean, I would I, I would possibly throw in uh uh what is it Cooper? Um, Amari? No, uh, no Cooper Cup. Um, oh, no, Cooper Cup. Yeah, wide receiver for the Rams. Uh, I don't know. I he has he didn't play because he was injured, but now that he's mm-hmm. back, I mean, it, it would be that would be Hold something. On. I can't hear you. <laughs> Sorry, my screen turned off. No, that's fine. That would be something. But what, what's the matter, Chris? Had to go piss or something? I yeah, I had to pee. Okay. Um. So my 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 toss name in the hat for first round wide receiver would be Michael Thomas, uh, possibly Cooper Cup, possibly throwing in a, a tight end for the first round like a Kelsey or a Kittle. Or Rudolph, um, that type of player, uh, Diggs, Stephon Diggs, uh, Adam Thielen, or Thielen. Yeah, sorry, but yeah, there's a ton of promising running backs. But as far as wide receivers, the receivers that we have historically picked the past couple of years, like yeah. first round, yeah. nope, no, 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 no thanks. No, no, no. I, I, I would even throw Tyreek in there. I would throw Tyreek Hill in there as well. Um, I'm just trying to think of all the wide receivers. Mike Evans, he's still there. But it's JMS I, throwing. <laughs> it, it doesn't matter. Um, even Do you think, uh, even you I think would. Deshaun could be a first round. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't. I would rather gamble that first round pick for a wide uh, running back this year, just no. because uh, the wide receiving core has moved around so much. I yeah. I would throw in Amari Cooper. I honestly think he could do it. Uh, since Cole Beasley's gone, yeah, they have they have Witten back, but. Amari Cooper is really the only target. Um, I mean, I know they picked up a couple of. Um, I'm trying to think. I don't know the Cowboys roster. I mean, but... they, they need a they need a quarterback. <laughs> well, he, if, 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 if they Dak, Dak it, is not worth forty it, million a year. If they please. if they can sign cap for ten mil or what a five mil or five dollars uh, monopoly money, then yeah, I would say go ahead and do it. But I love it, Chris. Um, Chris? Yeah. Rando? 
no, no, no. You no. Like you just wanted to say something. No, no. I, w- I was going to ask you guys something, but about running backs. So you guys are still talking about receivers right now? Well, yeah, we, I, we honestly, about like, backs too, so. no, like, like, I, it's not that I'm shitting on Larry Fitzgerald, but I just don't see him as a first round pick. I, I would, I would rather draft the, the, the young rookie, uh, Christian Kirk, um, in, in the first round rather than Fitz. I know Fitz is more, a st- more stable wide receiver, but looking at the targets and catch percentage, Fitz is, is like the target. So he's going to be doubled a lot. Especially if he's running slant routes and he's running across the middle, Fitz is going to be doubled a lot. So on the outsides, you're going to have speed. You know, the only one is Christian Kirk that you want as our second because the other, the other two or three that we have are all rookies. So it's kind of but it's a rookie gamble. I mean, everybody. I mean, who whoever gambled on Saquon last year won the Super Bowl usually. But um, if I money, I would well, choose. Same with Mahomes. Well, yeah. Same with Mahomes. He wasn't a rookie, but I mean gambled on it yeah yeah that's true i and was it, gonna ask for running backs uh what do you guys think uh david johnson's gonna land in the draft is he gonna be in a first rounder or no i say so yes i i think he could be but what joe and i were talking about when you both stepped away is there are a lot of really good running backs this year so you have mccaffrey you have camara mm-hmm. um you have david johnson Le'Veon, depending maybe uh, this Jets line, so that's kind of an unknown. Zeke, I would put James uh, Connor in there. Um, James Connor, yeah, for sure. Uh, I mean, he was the gamble last year, and I picked him up, and I did pretty well. But um, <clears throat> but usually, uh, during the first round, usually you're struggling for like a good core running back towards the end of that round. But I feel like this year there's going to be enough running backs for everyone to get a decent running back. If they all go first round, and, and honestly, almost. I don't, I don't know. This is just my opinion, but looking at how a lot of teams are going to committee, uh, I know the Seahawks are going to committee. I know the Chiefs even said they were going to committee. Um, there's no Saints like, no Saints aren't right. It's just Kamara, right? Uh, it's Kamara for New Orleans. For New Orleans. Uh, I think they picked up Latavius Murray too. So, okay. but yeah, they, they got rid of the Kamara because. Mm-hmm. He, he carried him most of the season last year until Mark Ingram came back. And even when Mark Ingram came back, he was still getting points. Yeah. Up the ass. So it's a fun game. It's, I don't know. This may be a quarterback league this year, unfortunately. Where do you think Kyler's going to land? I think he's. I think he'll, he'll be a solid. I think he'll be a solid second round, honestly. Um, just looking at like how Mahomes was. I mean, I've seen even drafts where Mahomes went last year where he went like third and fourth round. Um, I think Kyler could probably go in the same range. It all depends on how he's, how he's going to play the rest of the preseason because a lot of the fantasy drafts go until the end of the preseason. So we'll see. We'll see, man. I'm not giving up, I'm not giving up on him, but it's just like everybody was all in on Menzel and everybody was all in on, yeah, you know, I, I Winston and eh. depending on the league, like uh, most of my leagues, I think all three of my leagues are 10 man leagues. I don't know that he'll go. He might go in one out of the three, but I don't know that many people will gamble on him as a rookie. Right. You know, so I, honestly, I he'll go unless it's like a 12 man league and you're d- digging deep for those extra quarterbacks. Yeah. I, I would, I would, I would go for him um, based on uh, coaching background. Same coach as Patrick Mahomes. Um, same build, same frame. He's a little bit shorter than Mahomes, I think. Um, <laughs> a, lot short. a lot shorter. Yeah. Uh, I think he's like, what, 5'1? But anyway. He's a- <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> Russell Wilson. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. Sky's the limit with that guy. He's, he's you know, starting so fresh with that team. We can't. Uh, that's that's a like a major enigma with and a bad line with, too with the Cardinals. That's another thing you got to factor in. If they can pick up something before the start of the season as far as O line, then maybe. But until then, I would probably not start him or not play him until next year. He's like a backup. he's a backup this year. I, I could I could definitely see the Cardinals winning more than they did last year. But with that O line, I'm sorry. I just. Yeah. No, they crumble too fast, man. Yeah, they already John, showed first game. Yeah, John, you got John, anything? anything to say? You don't play nope. fantasy football. I don't play fantasy football. Uh, who's who's the Seahawks running back this year? Which one? 
Carson? You Chris got Carson. No, Is you got Carson? Carson. You got ProSize. Um, Penny. And Penny. So Chris they're Penny? they're doing a they're doing a committee as well. And, and then of course you have a uh, you have a uh, Russell Wilson at running back yeah. as well. So. Our, lead, our star running back. Yeah, right. running star. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So yeah, I it's 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 hard because a lot of the teams aren't doing the the one back thing because they want to extend the life of the running back and there's so many young running backs um, that are I mean Gurley but Gurley's a gamble, honestly. That's why David Johnson's going to be up there because they're he's our workhorse. Well, David Johnson adds value because not only is he a runner but he's also a pass catcher. <laughs> And catch, his yeah. his RAC or or excuse me his YAC yards after catch is so high that yes it, he is valuable to have, um, I would say a first round pick maybe a late first round but I would definitely say, you know, because mm-hmm. you know first round you're gonna get Breeze is gone Rogers is gone Mahomes is gone, fucking uh, depending on which league you play in Miguel. <laughs> Baker's gonna go too. I'm still not sold on Baker. I'm sorry, I'm not sold. And when the Browns can beat the Steelers and the Ravens, then I'll be sold. All right. So last question on this topic for football. Um, if you guys have first pick overall, who? Do I have to answer that? We can't. I can't answer that. I'm playing Joe. I'm I'm answering that. I'm answering that. All right, go go for it, Joe. Mahomes. Okay, I'll answer it too since you already know what I'm doing. David Johnson. In a PPR, Joe, you're going Mahomes first. Yep. Mm-hmm. Chris McCaffrey. Good, good for you. Okay. John, what's PPR? Points per reception. Oh, okay. So it's like uh, standard leagues. You get points when for scores, right? I don't mm-hmm. play standard, so you get points for touchdowns or scores or whatever. Mm-hmm. PPR, it's based on yardage so you get like a point for every 10 yards or whatever so. right Mahomes. So receivers are valued in that yeah they are more more valued for that but you look at his percentages of 50 what was it 50 tds last year you look at the how many yards every throw he had he averaged more than any of the other quarterbacks obviously that's why he was the mvp i'm gonna pick patrick mahomes i don't give a shit mahomes All right. Like 30 points plus every time. Every game. It was just That's like what, yes. everybody's like sleeping on Drew Brees this year. Not me. Not me. So I, I, I have one. Okay, go ahead. One last statement. Joe, you had such an issue with my league because Aaron Rodgers went number one overall. But you were going with Mahomes number one overall. What gives? What do you mean what gives? You saw what Aaron Rodgers did last year. Yeah, but you were not happy about him going number one overall, but you want to go a quarterback number one. No, I, the only reason why I was unhappy with it was because normal fantasy leagues will go wide receiver, running back overall. And yeah, that was my wild to go. Yeah, but that was my wild card last year. That was my, my shoe in because everybody else was going to do wide receiver, running back. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to pick Patrick Mahomes number one overall because that was my strategy to get out of the groove and out of the grind that everybody else was going to be in because I'm not hunting for the same players everybody else was. Like my goal was either Drew Brees or Patrick Mahomes last year, and I didn't get either one. So fuck your league. You're welcome. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Rando, anyone else? I do. Yeah. Go ahead, John. Okay. Go ahead, John. I bought a travel trailer. I know yeah. we mentioned it already, but I'm making my official announcement. I bought a travel trailer. It's a 28 foot travel trailer with four bunks and a queen bed and a fold out sofa and a dinette. I can sleep 10 people. Congratulations, How many Eddie. How have you run over so far? How many stumps? Zero. Shitter's Run-over. full. Keep it up. What? Hmm? I said shitter's full. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I bought a travel trailer. So if you guys do decide to come to the great state of Washington, you'll have somewhere to stay. Oh, okay. you bought it for us? Oh. Yay. Nine. Oh, I wouldn't, don't know that I'd go that far. Uh, my other rando is I played softball yesterday for the first time. Well, I guess for the second time in 10 years. The last time I played was when I was in Arizona. I played with my buddy Doug in June. So, Doug. yeah, I'm I'm out of shape. 
and uh, I made the mistake of sliding into second base. I was safe, but uh, I got this big old nasty on my leg. Ooh, god damn. Yeah. It's, you need to be, you need yeah. to be careful. Softball is probably the most dangerous sport for people in their 20s and 30s. For old people. Yeah, for old people. Just old people. So, Don't say 20s and 30s. Just say old people. Okay. Because everybody that plays softball thinks that they're young again, and they try to play, and they try to do some diving catch or some, oh, some, oh, watch me. This is how I used to do it. Oh, look at me. I'm sliding, or I'm diving for a catch, and they break a fucking collarbone or hip or well, something. So. Yeah, my, my brother-in-law, last year, I think it was, torn meniscus playing softball. Old people. His friend, his friend tore his calf muscle this year. Mm-hmm. I played softball one year, and I already had a history of jacked up sciatic nerve, and I tweaked it, and I haven't. Nope, nope, I'm good. No, there. You get to a certain point in your age, unless you are cons- consistently active, consistently working out, that you just say, "Nope." Yeah, I used to climb walls. Yeah, am I going to do it now? Nope. If my life depended on it, I'd be like, well, it was fun. Nice knowing you guys. <laughs> you see, it's audio. like. It's like one of those. You see me running, then yeah, you should be running as well because I don't run for anything. <laughs> Unless it's like free shit or fucking Kate Beckinsale. <laughs> so yeah. Uh the few couple times that I've gone up gotten up and walked away from the uh camera during the podcast is to go get uh fresh tissue because my leg is leaking. Yummy. Yeah, for the audio listeners, if you want to watch the video, you could see John's nice shiner on his leg. Yeah. Oh, there's there's nasty. more that you get to see at the end of this podcast too. Yeah, there's uh, a some skin missing. I yeah. just say that. Much. It hurts. It hurts yeah. real bad. Is that it for the rando, well, John? Uh, tomorrow, I'm planning on getting the tickets for Seahawks at Cardinals. Yes. I will tell my brother tonight. I'll let him know. Let me know as soon as you get the tickets because I'm probably going to get a hotel room. Uh, I was actually going to talk to you guys about that. I was kind of probably going to get a hotel room too. So that... What, Chris? I got a hotel already. I booked it at the Premier Inns. It's not a great hotel, but it's $60 a night. I'm, yeah. Nope, nope. If I'm doing it, it's got to be three star. I'm not doing that. I'm, oh, oh, it's just. I'm cheap. not going in no goddamn dungeon again, Chris. Nope. Nope. Chris and Jackie always have this thing where they go to Vegas and they pay, oh, we're going to pay low bottom dollar for this hotel. We're just sleeping there. Yeah. But when you got shit crawling across your face, crawling in your underwear. No. It's not that bad. Bullshit. Nope. Not doing it. I'm going to do a three three or four star hotel. in the dungeon. (laughs) Yeah. You know the water heater? It's next to that. Yeah. And and then your hallway smelled like shit. Not doing it. Nope. If we go, we're staying, we're staying high and mighty if I go. All right, go ahead. Spend two hundred bucks. I don't care. I will. So, are you guys gonna go down on Saturday? You're gonna go down Sunday morning? Probably. Well, I don't know. I was thinking Sunday morning. It's an afternoon game, so there's no reason to go yeah. down Saturday. We go down Sunday morning. Sunday, yeah. And then just start, as soon as we get there, just start whatever, and then go until the game's over. And then after the game, I'm going to the art house. Yes, I want we're some go, we're all going. vampire tacos and then Buster. whatever Dave after Busters. Dave and Buster's, whatever Dave after. Yes, beers. Not even. Yeah. I can't even. That big of a beer. So I'll yeah. probably fly in on Saturday, and then stay with Doug Saturday night, and then get a hotel for Sunday night, so that I don't have to go all the way back to Mesa. No, Mesa. Hills? Mesa. Okay. Doug lives in Mesa. Gotcha. Ryan and Adrian. Uh, oh, excuse me. But yeah. So, Good lord. Cool, man. You got any other rando, John? Nope. No? What about you? Um, so I my rando, I watched uh, Lone Survivor. Have you guys seen this movie Lone Survivor with Mark Wahlberg? It's yep. just called Oh yeah, Lone Survivor. I yeah. think Miguel, you saw that one, didn't you? I, I started yeah. watching it, I never finished it. What a great fucking movie that is. I mean, for the the action in that in that movie and just how much you see these 
Navy ops go through. Yeah, they're they're Navy ops, right? Seals. I don't remember, Navy, they're Navy SEALs, yeah. And they go through so much shit out in Afghanistan. It's ridiculous. It's a great fucking movie. So, I mean, if anybody hasn't seen this movie, definitely go check out Lone Survivor. I thought that was a really fucking cool movie. Isn't it uh, based off true events? Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Yes, it was. And I, I was like, I watched that last night, and I was like, holy fuck, this is a great movie. Very sad watching the soldiers go through what they had to fight through. Um, and, yeah, it was it was a good movie. I makes, thought it was cool. Makes you get, get a, just a little bit racist, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, it, it sure is. I mean, they're talking about Hajis and all that crazy fucked up shit. Yeah. And I know. It's, it's pretty bad, but it's, I know. it's sad at the same time. You know, they go through a lot. And, you know, it... It, it kind of makes me feel like, you know, I want to give kudos to all the military that's out there right now, even listening to us. Like, Absolutely. thank you for fighting for our country and fighting for our freedom, because that's amazing what you do and how much how hard you train and you're leaving your families, you're leaving your fucking children, you're leaving everything behind you. And you're literally using your bodies as fucking meat shields it was ridiculous how much they went through and if that's true events that's crazy Mm -hmm. and i i thank all of them for our freedom that we have now Uh, you know i mean i want to give this out to all of our military thank you for fighting for our freedom and all the shit that you've gone through you guys are fucking amazing i don't think i have the balls to even do that shit so amazing great movie though yep yeah um any other random shit right now i think my other rando shit I would like to talk about uh, for our listeners to please submit your stories. We really want um, these listeners to engage with us and do this contest. We're giving out $100 and then $50 to second runner up. And then whoever decides to even fucking participate, Miguel's giving a participation, participation. trophy for this fucking event so that's literally 175 dollars that we're giving away we're giving away this fucking money so literally participate i mean there's there's a bunch of listeners listening to us right now all all it takes is for you to send an email for the story and if you want to go back listen to episode number 137 or 136 i can't remember but just go back you'll find the rules of the story and you'll figure out what to do during this participation and it, just fucking do it. That's all I have to fucking say. Do it. You, you may also get a picture of Joe with Kate Beckinsale. Ooh. I haven't even gotten a picture with me with Kate Beckinsale. I still want the picture. <laughs> you need to frame it. I want to put it up so, like on the wall over there. So for <laughs> the audio listeners, you're about to miss a treat. But go to go to our Facebook. You, go to our Facebook page. Yeah, go to Facebook. But those of you video watchers, um, hold on, let me full screen this real quick. Boom! <laughs> there yeah. is a photo of Joe with Kate Beckinsale. That's definitely not photoshopped. Definitely not. Super no, legit. He was there. Oh yeah. Looks so, too great to be photoshopped. I could die a happy man does. if I was there. Honestly. To be honest, though, behind Kate Beckinsale's dress, Joe doesn't have feet. So, <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a first-person shooter game, so you don't care. Yeah, yeah. So it's okay. <laughs> you you can't tell, but there's no feet there. I, I yeah, I jumped the fence, and I'm like, mm, look at that. <laughs> I, I can't tell who's creepier. Um, this guy. <laughs> Or that this guy. guy. Hey, I had the nerve. The other guy. I had the nerve to jump the fence, whereas the other guy didn't even. He just stood there and went. I mean, I mean, look at that guy. Do you think he could jump the fence? He what? could he roll over the fence. the fence. He could go around the fence right there. He just oh, go through the end. fence. What are you talking about? He just Hulk smash. Right. He, he is quite Hulk smash. And Joe, just Joe, what were you doing with that fishing pole stand? Well, the first time I saw the the picture, it looked like it was like a part of her dress, like the string from her dress. And I was like pulling it to unravel her dress. <laughs> so, yeah, I was like, that's very fitting. So I'm like pulling the string to make her dress fall apart. So, yeah, that's in my mind. That's how it played out. <laughs> um, for everyone else, definitely a fishing rod stand that he is holding on to with that look in his eye. So, uh, yeah. Is that but, yeah. we went fishing? Yeah. Yes. Okay. 
that I had that photo, and ever since I saw it, I was like, I need to do something with this. So <laughs> I, I searched Kate Beckinsale pictures, and this one is just so fitting. Yeah. That's that a creeper. Yeah. That's yes. Awesome. Yes. I mean, yeah. everybody knows on our podcast that Joe makes the sexual jokes out of all of us. Like he's all he's he's the dirty guy out of us. You know, it, it it's totally fitting. I, I guess I'm it. the dirty old man. I guess. <laughs> I guess. You want some popsicles, Miguel? Where's your popsicles? Where's your popsicles? Where's your popsicles? No, see, I'm not that dirty. I'm not messing with little kids. I'm not. I'm not that dirty. Okay. Get your hey, 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 to my defense, Kate Beckinsale is actually a little bit older than me, so it's like I'm, 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 I'm hunting. I'm, I'm cougar hunting right now. Shit. Give me a chance with Jennifer Aniston or Kate Beckinsale. That's all I'm asking. Selma yeah, Hayek's a cougar now, and Sandra Bullock's a cougar now. Let's go. I'm going hunting. You're not hunting for wabbits. You're hunting for go cougs. cougs. Yeah, go, go cougs. cougs. In, in that sense, go yes, go cougs. <laughs> definitely. Most definitely. Sweet. Do you guys have any other rando shit this week? I didn't get to go, but yeah. Uh, I'll make it real quick. Uh, Netflix saw the Glitter Room. Eh, kind of funny. Uh, Glitter Room, Catherine Ryan stand-up. Uh, saw Whitney Cummings. Um, comedian stand-up. It was pretty funny. Uh, it the women women comedians i understand the whole oppression and everything but uh the whole sexist you know comment about how men are always sexist and this and that i get what the what the the narrative is now okay you see one you've probably seen them all um saw the tiffany started watching the tiffany haddish the one where she chooses the comedians called they ready uh watch the first one chris Please, please do me this one thing and watch They Ready with Jackie. The first comedian, uh, I think it's, uh, what was her name? Um, shit, I can't even remember. I want to say it was Tracy Ashley. But she okay. reminds me so much of Jackie because she's in an interracial relationship with a white dude. And I think that the both of you would find this very funny. Okay. Very funny. Okay. Um, so just please Netflix, Tiffany Haddish, they ready and watch the first episode. So it's an, it's an episode. So each episode's a different, um, comedian. You got it, man. Um, last Netflix bullshit. Uh, I watched, uh, Wu assassins. Those of you that are in the martial arts type, type of thing. My son is in Kung Fu. Um, hopefully soon to be, um, testing for his black belt in junior, junior black belt. Um, so I started watching some Kung Fu movies, watched Forbidden Kingdom with Jackie Chan and Jet Li. There's a lot of things that they are saying in the movie that are actually what my son does in Kung Fu, the stances, the animal forms and the weapons and stuff. So he enjoyed the hell out of that. Just going on the Kung Fu kick, uh, it man, anytime you get to watch Johnny, Donnie Yen, just do it. Don't it man's great. Oh my God. It man, Donnie Yen. It's just, thank you. Um, last one. Woo Assassins. It's a series, and it's about um, it's about martial arts and about you know monks and stuff like that. Give it a try. You might like it. You might not. Um, I watched the first season through. It was kind of like up, upset at the end. Kind of gave me a Game of Thrones vibe at the end. But um, yeah, give it a try. Netflix stuff. Last but not well, not last but not least, Tool. Okay, those of you that don't know, Tool's coming out with a new album at the end of the month. Tool. Tool, 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 tool. I have a tattoo, uh, tool tattoo on my arm. Anyway, um, ever since they released, they talked about their new album, they released all of their music to streaming, and every single Tool album is in the top 20 of the billboards right now. So fuck all your pop bullshit, fuck everything else. Tool is everything. And uh, yes, thank you, Maynard. Um, Joe, what? did you listen to We Are Not Your Kind by chance? Nope. What is that? Slipknot's new album. Oh, no. I only heard the single out of uh, the, the Slipknot. Unsainted? Unta uh, unsainted, yes. Not untainted, but unsainted, yes. And I loved it. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Cannot wait for the end yeah. of August, so. There's a song called Spiders that does not sound at all like a Slipknot song, and I think it's a great song. Sounds like Stone Sour? No, not at all. Okay. Just, it doesn't... It gives you kind of like a exorcist theme song vibe mm -hmm. kind of piano yeah 
just hearing piano on a Slipknot song just doesn't. It's makes not it even normal. it makes and, it even yeah. more creepy. That's fine. Yeah. Um. Last but not least, okay. These are the things that I. Uh, I yes, I am a fan of TikTok. I love TikTok. Uh, I do not have a TikTok profile. Okay. Yes, this is. I'm an it's old. A lurker. I'm one of those guys that all the young girls are like, oh, all the old men watching TikTok just keep scrolling. Whatever. It helps me fall asleep. All you dumb bitches. Anyway. Um. <laughs> But there was one one TikTok uh, streamer that, or whatever you want to call her, TikToker, and she does these influencer. things. Influencer. Influencer. She does these things where they're like, like, kind of like what the fuck type things. So, do you guys know what news stands for? What's never that? ever. You don't know what don't it know. stands for. Okay, so news stands for notable notable events, weather, and sports. Huh. Interesting. Right. Um, yeah, I know. Mine. The more you know. Right? Exactly. Um, I, thought, I thought John already did a segment. This is Joe's The More You Know. But do you know, what, do you know what TAG stands for? What? Touch and go. Interesting. Hmm. Google it. I'm, I'm serious. I was like, yeah. And, and then she also, wow. she also says, you know, we spend money for trash bags just to throw them away. That's fucking what the fuck. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, like I'm watching this video and she's like, she's just going off on this like I don't know if she's stoned or what, but she's like, we buy trash bags just to throw them away. <laughs> That's fucking way true. Oh my That's god. Crazy. So yeah, um, that's all I got for the rando shit. I, I have one more thing to add <laughs> because I said I would give my two cents about Madden. I just have to say that the game looks great and the mannerisms of the players and doing the celebrations of Madden is pretty fucking cool. So, I mean, the changes that they've made is pretty cool. I just think the microtransactions kind of suck. So, And the players still walk into each other. Yeah, and that too. So, those are my two cents for Madden uh, 20. And Eli's a bitch. And Eli is a biatch. Oh, yes. and I did... Uh, uh, shh, quiet. I just picked up... Um, uh, um, uh, what's his face? Fuck, I can't even think of it now. Um, no, oh, shit. Sorry, brain fart. Um, what team? Patriots. Oh, fuck. Edelman. Edelman. Huh? Edelman. Edelman. Thank you. I just got him in a random, random drop. Uh, Edelman ranked eighty-three. Damn. So yeah, now man. now I have Jerry Rice, Larry Fitzgerald, um, Edelman. That's crazy. You're stacked, dude. You spent the money for that stack. <laughs> and Marcus That's Allen is my running back because I upgraded him. That's what you did, man. And I, I got, I had and I I got, T, I got TJ Watt, JJ Watt, uh, Chris Jones. Yeah, I, I've got a pretty stacked rush defense. So I mean, Chandler Jones? Uh, I had him, but I couldn't. I had the trainer card, so he wouldn't rank up. So he only stayed oh. at 70, like 75. Okay. So I could trade him to you if you want. I'll take him. Can okay. you trade? Yeah, you can trade. Oh, fuck yeah, we're trading. And I'll he gave away Carson Wentz without... I trading. actually sold Carson Wentz. It was a starter pack, Son and you couldn't a... upgrade him. He was only at 76. I'm sorry, but I just sold him. I was like, you Miguel can't know. upgrade him, so I got rid of him. Sweet. Anybody else have any random shit this week? Nope. Nope. All right, so this is going to close episode number 138, I believe. This is Chris. I'm going to go play some video games. I'm out. This is John. I'm going to go see what my family's up to and probably clean out my leg wound again. I'm Dude. out. This is Miguel. Fuck you, Chris. I'm out. This is Joe. I'm going to find another beer somewhere and uh, go play some video games. Game on, guys. Game, Game on. on. Game on. Good shit, guys. <laughs>